Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you guys an update. I've been looking over at Lyra, and I'm actually pretty impressed by the way they did things. So, for example, none of the animations actually play or actually stored uh, in their animation blueprint. Uh, it's pretty cool how they did all of this. I've, ne I've never seen some of this before. I've heard of it, and I knew that like you could have child animation blueprints, but I've never seen anyone do it before. And they obviously did it in a manner that it was meant to be done. And it's pretty cool. Uh, also, I wanted to show you this new Blueprint Thread Safe Update Animation uh, function. And if, you want, if you're wondering, uh, it's not a, an, an actual function that they created. If you go to Override, you'll see Blueprint Thread Safe Update Animation. That's uh, what they're using to get uh, like update location data, rotation data, velocity data, accelerate, all of that, uh, all of this stuff is being ran on a blueprint thread safe update animation. And basically it makes sure uh, that, that it's uh, safe, you know, like to run it on that thread. I'm assuming that helps prevent like hitches and stuff like that. So, they don't actually do anything on the event graph in here. Now, there are some cases where it's preferable to do it on the event graph, as you'll see here. They actually, uh, when they are doing the retarget pose for mesh here, so if you just use the IK rig, uh, the IK retargeter asset, uh, to retarget it for your character, then you would want to update that off of the update animation uh, event but it seems like they're trying to say here that this is preferable uh, and that it should be what we use rather than event graph as, as long as we can get away with it so yeah as I said they store the animations on the weapons themselves this is just a G uh, weapon fire here and if I come back over here to this I can come over here to the shotgun let's just choose the shotgun and edit and you'll see that this character fire montage for that is uh, the shotgun fire and then they have all their other stuff set up. Pretty uh, sophisticated tag system. They did everything like you would expect a uh, a game studio to do it, rather than like some of the ones that they've done in the past. You could tell they just you know half-assed it, but this one they definitely did, and they really went all out, and I'm pretty impressed. So they have uh, linked anim layers that they're using to pass the animations over from one to the other. I'll be doing uh, actual breakdowns. This isn't a breakdown video, but I just wanted to kind of introduce you guys to it. And I know I'm moving around fast and it's probably confusing. So let me just get into this. I'll go ahead and show you all. Uh, I just realized, and this is funny, but I just realized that it does have a foot locking and uh, rotation system set up and it's actually far more sophisticated uh, or it's I should say it's better designed than the one in ALS so it takes and I'm guessing that they're new functions that they added to the animation graph I don't know I've never heard of them but they, they use specific functions they use specific functions to uh, uh, lock the feet, or not really lock the feet, but to rotate the mesh when the character uh, turns, or when the uh, pawn turns, so that, so that you don't get foot sliding. And I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good. At it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all that and I think y'all should check it out. It's actually a lot more sophisticated than I thought.
I'm thinking I should add some uh, head rotation uh, logic to it and uh, a mental system and we will do a a roll system as well I suppose I'm gonna have to become a, a bit more familiar with this before I start adding too much but some of this stuff isn't gonna be too hard uh, to add the logic uh, of it into but the the whole system it's it's not really that complex uh, and I'll do videos later to break it down but until then I would uh, suggest uh, this Leaf Wrench Games. Uh, he does some. He makes some very good videos, and I really enjoy them. And I think y'all should check them out. And yeah, let me uh, let me know what you guys think.